What is up everyone and welcome back to a brand new vlog. Now, I'm not in America and yes, you'll notice on my channel I've not uploaded anything because I gave myself 24 hours to chill out in the UK and I've come to Dubai again. I haven't been here since 2018. When I first started vlogging and in the first few hours just being here, I've been let into NVN Motorworks Dubai. Now, I filmed at the London one before, is what Mr. JWW has worked on, the whole detailing bay. And um, although this is the storage bit, we've got a yellow Porsche 918. We have got a TDF. We've got another 918. And then the big white and red Chiron. There is cars absolutely everywhere. We've even got a Senna over there being cleaned. But through that door right over there, there is one hyper car, which I can't say what it is, but it's insane. And there's also a Monza SP1, which we'll be able to check out. So what better way than to start the Dubai vlogs at NVN Dubai. So to kick things off, we've got this beautiful McLaren Senna. Now, of course, it's been quite dark in here and again, keeping the polarizer. We've got some nice silver wheels of blue calipers, but check out all this chrome bits all along the side, the tip of the wing, the Dubai national flag on the front. I mean, this is awesome. I've never seen a center like this with chrome bits all around it. And of course, Dubai plates, and of course, the two exhausts being out of Europe. But not a bad first car to film out here. So from the storage unit to here, we then go through the first detailing bay. And on my right, we are greeted with a 458 Challenge car. Now, again, as you would know from maybe my previous videos, I went out in the 488 Challenge at Anglesey Track with petrol hedonism. And it's just so cool to see one of these here at the bay. And again, I just love the Dubai plate. It's so cool to see these. But again, silver wheels. I love the white finish. It's got all the liveries around of a Challenge car and the nationalities of the driver. But yeah. Not bad for the first car to see in their detailing bay. This is a lovely example of a Pista with a tan interior and a classic black stripe down the middle. Once again, they're keeping it simple. It still looks amazing. From the Pista, we have then got a 600 LT in like a satin kind of wrap. It's got the standard kind of wheels, but this wrap looks really cool actually. Under these lighting, it's kind of like a greenish blue which is very nice. And of course, doors up, flex mode. And from the 600 LT, we have got the Porsche GT2 RS, but not just any GT2 RS. Now, you'll know why, is if I come around the corner, we are greeted with these massive, lightweight magnesium wheels because it's a Mantia racing version. Of course, the bigger wing, more power. Of course, these are the ones that slay the Nürburgring track. Look at that though. Of course, there's a black one in London, but with silver wheels, these look stunning. Of course, you've got the magnum there. It's like a gold calipers as well. Red interior. Proper, proper cool spec this is. Right now, we are going through the next one. We are greeted with an 812, which I kind of recognize. This might be one that's come to London, finishing like a tan interior. We've got a California. We've got like Morgans, Cullinans, Rolls Royces, and Sots right there. That is certainly one lucky plate. And look what just rolled in for a quick wash. It looks like a Mandry Rolls Royce with one of the craziest color combinations I've seen. Sadly in the polarizer you won't really be able to see it. But it's like this very vibranty mint yellow on black which looks ridiculous. A proper Dubai spec. Then in their other cleaning bay we've got an SLS AMG. No black series, just a standard one. Still beautiful. And I think these are again one of the most underrated supercars. Next to a 964 Turbo. Stunning as well. But one thing I did want to show you and I want to pick up on which I nearly fell for was I thought this was a black series but it's got a black series hood, but once again, just an SLS AMG 6.3 litre V8. So whilst coming up a bit more closer at this Mansory Rolls Royce, I mean, look at the front grille on that. I've noticed this badge, it's called like the Bushkin Edition. I don't know if I've said that right or not, 
but it's got one absolutely crazy interior and steering wheel kind of like a marble finish and as you can see the mansory wheels and just how more beefy it is compared to the normal Rolls Royce so we then come to the big dog look at this the Ferrari Monza SP1 with painted shields I mean just look at this car to be here at NDN and this is one of the cars and one of the reasons why I wanted to come here was to see this it's got like the blue Alcantara blue Monza SP1 badge truly stunning Senna is now going on a trailer. I think something needs to be fixed with it. Probably a classic McLaren thing, but how cool is this? Seeing the sunlight, the chrome proper stands out and it's got like a, a fake carbon fiber finish all over. Sounds cool though. Okay, I was completely wrong. That is full carbon fiber. I thought it was a wrap. It's not. Look at the entire body, all carbon fiber. Damn, that's cool. That is what you call good timing. And that's what they do in Dubai. They just put the hypercars on the back of an open trailer. Fancy that. So for the first place to check out in Dubai, really, it couldn't have gone any better. And uh, still, I can't believe this whole storage unit. It's a shame about the Chiron. And also, let's flip the camera around. Right here is a LaFerrari Aperta. Now, knowing a bit more about the cars, as I was saying, we missed the cars and coffee. Well, we didn't miss it. It happened on the 27th. Today's the 29th. That is the red and white Chiron that came to London two years ago. You then got a white 918 next to it, a red TDF, a yellow 918, and a matte black 918, as well as, you know, Mansory Eurus's and GT4's, GT3 RS's in the Viper Green, GT4 up there, you know, the list goes on and on and on. But spinning the camera around again, thank you so much to NBN Motorworks in Dubai. I mean, yeah, what a way to start with a Ferrari Monza and a secret hypercar. Maybe I can say it in a future video, they post and everything, but it certainly blew my mind away with Greg's and socks. And uh, yeah, maybe one day you guys will find out. So apart from all of that and catching the Senna leave, that was awesome. Although this might be a quick first vlog, it's going to be a many vlogs in Dubai. So stay tuned. Thank you so much, guys. And I'll see you guys next time.